Good morning, post-apocalypse, and welcome back to Hope Radio, where together we survive. I've returned home after our looting expedition in the snow biome, and the plan over the next few days will be to finish up the defenses at the radio tower and finalize construction on the Horde base. To do that, we'll be crossing again over into Strength to help out with the heavy lifting, and after that, I'll bring in my painter to help get the place all dressed up. But for now, this is Temreki, signing off. Okay, so I've been crafting in the workbench all night long. Let's see how that's working. So yes, got the drone morale booster mod and the drone medic mod. I crafted up some more glue, and with that glue, I need to make myself a rad remover. I need to grab a couple of extra mods for our other turret. I think one of them will be that rad remover, and I'm going to put a laser sight onto my TAC AR. Okay, so that's the drone all modded up. Hello Powering there. Up. All systems go. Shush. Hey, okay, there's the rad remover. So basically, we'll have one turret with the cripple mod, the other turret with the rad remover. Uh, yeah, I don't think you need to put the same exact mods on. I think that actually gives us you know, more versatility with these things. <laughs> Don't you just love that donk when you reload the turret? It's very satisfying, I love it. Okay, I did do some decoration in here last night too because the, the general box here was full. It's where I put my decorations. There's still some more in there. I got the cold beer sign hooked up. I got the hydroponics hooked up a little bit. I brought the pool table up here and put it on the bear rug. Still kind of, you know, I, I gotta live with it for a couple days before I decide what to do next. All right. Are we doing pretty good here? We got some water. That means we got to get some more glue. That is the chain right now. And I'm also working on darts over here. So yeah, just continue working on darts. All the darts we can get. I got to start working on this stuff early from now on because it always comes to Horde Night and I'm like, whoa, I didn't make any darts. <laughs> what a surprise. Okay, so let me grab up the cell chest stuff and we'll do a bit of a sell off this morning. I think I actually... Yeah, I got a SWAT helmet. I can start wearing that and it's debatable whether I want to... Ah, uh, see, we can get a little bit more mobility and stamina and sacrifice a little bit of armor by going into the light gloves. I think I'll do that. How are we looking these days? <laughs> Why is the SWAT helmet so big? It looks so goofy. My legs and my head are just so big for my torso. Whatever, let's get out of here and head over to see Trader Bob. We gotta buy ourselves the extra forgetting elixir. All right. Good morning, Trader Bob. Wakey, wakey. All right, let's just get everything kind of organized here. It's a bit of a process. You know how it goes. Magnum, awesome sauce, sugar butts, and sell. Okay, that was good for an extra lot of money right there. Today is trader day, so we can take a look here and see if there's anything good to buy. Oh, the robotic drone cargo mod schematic. Give me. Oh, refill on contact grenades. Give me that as well. Otherwise, I think we're good. Actually, we're not totally good here. Where's his elixir? There it is right there. 1,700 dukes. That's how well we're doing. Well, let's, um, jeez, man. I don't know if we'll make it over there in time with the 4x4 or not, but I'm going to try to hit the other trader before all this stuff wears off. All right, technically I did make it. However, it's going to wear off before I have the chance to buy anything, but maybe I'll at least get the forget and elixir. Let's see your inventory, your food and cooking, and no, oh, I think it ran out just in time. Yeah, even if you open the inventory and it's active and it says it has the lower price, it will actually charge you the, the full price as soon as that timer expires. So, all right, let's just see what else he has here. Banded armor plates. I don't think I can craft those yet. Oh, he had the cargo schematic as well. Sniper book here. Sure, I'll take it. Vehicle adventures, that too. Whoa, look at that SMG right there. Oh my goodness. That makes me think twice about maybe specking over into agility. You know, we're doing the whole respec thing right now. Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. I want to have that SMG. That's that's a really good upgrade. Learn an elixir here. Speaking of that, now. let's check his vending machine. Got any stuff in here? Yeah, a little bit. And some more learn an elixirs. We'll do some upgrades later and try to benefit from that a little bit. All right, that'll do it. Time for a respec. Okay, this time we're gonna do seven into strength, so we can do five into minor 69er and mother load. We're gonna do seven into perception as well, so we can do five into salvage ops. And then the rest I'll pump directly back into intellect so that we can have our good juicy combat skills. So we're maxed out on electrocution or robotics and calculated attack. Just keep in mind, we will not have the euthanizer perk for the next day or two. Okay, now with our proficient mining skills, see this is this is what makes intellect so powerful, is you, you've got the traitor manipulation ability Ability, in addition to really good combat perks, although it does take a while to kind of 
fully get into the build, you know what I mean? Like, it takes you a while to, a while to kind of build it up, whereas if you just go into strength and, you know, you're immediately proficient with clubs and baseball bats, you kind of, you're off to a better start, but... You know, if you're playing the long game, I think intellect is your best bet. Right, uh, so anyway, for now, yep, here's a car right here. We've got to do some car salvaging. I need four engines, so as soon as we get that, we are done. Give me the ratchet. Read up these couple of things here, and uh, let's begin. Okay, and there it was. My fourth engine came off of that semi-truck there. And I did just find a nice shovel. Is that better than the one that I have? S very slightly. Speaking of shovel, it is time to go do some digging. We got the, the fourth engine there. Yes, we did. All right, let's go to the horde base for some digging. Okay, we are here to do some digging because what I would like to do is make some more blade traps. And I, I think we can bring the blade traps all the way over to the end over here. We'll just have to get rid of Oscar's dumpster. And another thing that I've noticed is when I jump down here, it says that I'm no longer in Oscar's dumpster POI. So I actually, I would, if I'm looting up loot bags that are in here, I, I'll have to stand here because you see the top right corner, it says Oscar's dumpster, but down here it goes away to Pine Forest. So <laughs> if you're doing looting, you know, make sure you're standing in the right spot around here. All right, let's get this stuff cleaned up here. Oh, that's the, this is the POI barrel. So we just got to get, get rid of that once and for all. All right, the big dig begins. Luckily, I can one shot these blocks here with the, the new shovel skills that I have. Yep, there it goes. Almost got the whole thing down. That's it. All right, now it's just a matter of digging in the little nubs that we attach the blade traps to. And I haven't even checked the blade trap recipe yet to make sure that we can even craft like 12 more of these things. But hey, maybe worst case scenario, we go dip into some tier fives and try to get a uh, blade trap bundle thingy at the end of it. Okay, that's all we can do for now. We'll come over here and do some uh, final upgrades here. We'll do it all at once, because basically, yeah, we gotta also do some spot repairs around here. Oh, look, two loot bags still sitting over here from the Horde Knight. That's nice, a little bit of food. All right, I think we can get rid of this car once and for all. Gone. Oh my goodness, there's still garbage around here with glue, perfect. Get rid of that. And with that, I don't think there's any more construction to do over here. There's just upgrades. Like, there's no more building to do over here. We could build up the walls here and make this all out of cobblestone. But honestly, I think it's a bit of a resource sink. The zombies are just going to die when they fall in here, which is, you know, kind of what we want. A few of them might explode. There might be some destruction. But for this next Horde Night, I'm not going to do any further remodeling or laying down this big hefty pad or anything like that. I got better things to do with my life. So let's head over to the base. We have a bunch of demo work to do over there as well. That's you know, half the reason I thought of going back into strength today is so that we could get that done. First things first though, let me see if I can get some repair kits. We're down to now 4% on the 4x4. My goodness, thing's gonna blow up at this rate. That's what I was missing in my inventory, was my dukes for some reason. No, I got a broken leg now. It's okay, nothing that my last cast and a couple of steroids can't fix. All right, I think I'm just about ready to go here. I've got all the construction materials on me, I think, and I'm making some cobblestone right there. Okay, let's start with the demo project. We gotta rip off a whole bunch of blocks here. To start with, I'm gonna rip off some of the wall pieces that I put up here because this is gonna be like the avenue of approach for a gyrocopter. And then I was hoping I could use the plate bracket centered and just kind of slide it on the edge right here to give it a little bit of a lip going off. And then as I've discussed before, you can do a wedge tip narrow right here just to give yourself a little bit of a bump on the way off. Follow that up with the wedge narrow low on the outside, just like that. And then here in the middle, so I know things are really messed up here. Whoever built John's ham radio, I suspect it was John himself, uh, was not a very good architect because things just do not line up properly here. And I'll give you a great example of that. Like this window over here, if you look at it from the outside, it's not centered. But if I look at it from the inside, it is centered. So there's a little bit of a remodeling thing we're going to have to do here. Just going to rip this off and I'm just going to use a ramp shape and we're going to go just like this so that from the outside, again, it looks uh, pretty normal, but from the inside, 
it it looks better, right? Because now instead of just there just being like a harsh angle there, it uh, it has a nice sort of curvature to it, I guess. I don't know. Let's see how it looks when I put it all together. There, it's all in, and yes, I do think that that looks as good as it can look given the limitations of the the place that we're in here. And then for windows, I will just do some bulletproof store window blocks like so. They're not bulletproof. Well, they're, ju they're just as bulletproof as a cobblestone block would be to begin with, but they look nice. That's the whole point of it. Okay, slide them in. Okay, so that side's done. And now we've got this side here. I want to put a nice big window in here. Okay, there we go. Now, a few days ago, I was looking at all these shapes in here to see if I could find one that I really liked, and I couldn't. So I'm just going to go with the bulletproof glass blocks again. Plus, I think the overall aesthetic of the base uh, just kind of benefits. Wait a minute. What is this block here? Why does that? Oh, right. This is a transition from a full block up to a half block. I can make that look better. When in doubt, get the wedge 60s out. Oh, look how much better that looks. 100% better. Okay, just tick nightfall. We have a little bit more work to do here, up on this level at least. Start by taking these out. These ones actually look normal, so these ones just need to be replaced with good bulletproof glass windows. Okay, and with that, we're... Okay, we're almost done. We need to do the last little bit here, which is just the security gates on for the ceiling. Kind of like the floor for the gyro landing pad, but also kind of the ceiling for the crafting area. It would let rain in, but it will also let light in for the garden. Okay, we are done in here. This is what it looks like from above. And what I've been crafting over here in the workbench is some sandbags. Sandbag, and they're, and they're expensive. Look, 15 cloth each. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, maybe let's just find out <laughs> exactly how many I need. Because what I'm going to do is... Oh, yes, there's this here. Okay, that's going to be a spike. Hey, geez, what one is that? It's the cube, cube narrow pyramid base. Is that what I'm looking at? That, that will do, I think. Followed by the centered pyramid tip, something like that anyway. Okay, now we've got, this is gonna be a bit of a task here because we've got to do, we got to make it look good. So we got to do like sandbags end here. And then we got to kind of snake it around and do a curve and another curve and then all the way over here and so on. Okay, that's done. I need 19 more, which is, Probably more than I can make. I can make 25. Yes, we've got it. Okay, so half the reason for that big hacker's adventure was to, not hacker, but like a car salvaging thing that we did was for the four engines. And let's just grab some fuel, make sure that we're topped off on that. And we'll get some, get a wire tool. I can finally see them. My brain is working pretty efficiently today. Not, not too bad. I'll grab the, I guess we'll do SMG turrets and I'll grab some ammo for those. Should have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we got plenty of nine mil, even though I'll be using the SMG from now on, which by the way, looking very nice. Anywho, let's go down here and juice up this generator. Okay, we don't need that many engines, but I figured it's nice to have that many just so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, so here was my thought down here. I would like to set this up as a bit of a trap because I'm envisioning there's not much going on here. I don't think anyone will be hanging out here, particularly on ground level, because you just don't have that good of a avenue of fire, unless there's a breach over here somewhere and we might kind of pile up down here. But what we could do is set up a bit of a defense down here. So what I'm going to do is set up these one meter pillars here, one and two, and then I'll set up these two turrets right here, one and two. There we go. So if there's ever zombies out here, either they come through the door or they come through the wall or they're coming from the corner, we should be able to just open this door and hit them with a really fast ambush. And what I might also do is uh, put some sort of like, do, do the jail doors. We'll do a jail door here with a jail wall here. Let's just do some placeholders for now. One, two, three. We'll do jail. We don't even have to do jail doors. We just do like regular bars there and we'll do the jail door in the middle. Hey, I like that idea. Let's keep that sealed up. We don't want anybody detecting that outside and kind of changing their plans from there. Okay, I have the extra bandit platforms to put up on top of this thing here. So I kind of like it to be in this orientation here and then we'll rotate it just slightly so it'll have a little 
different of an appearance on this side like that and then i'm thinking i'll get some more sandbags and i'll put them on the front here so we'll need four eight more sandbags and then once i get the sandbags up i'll put the corrugated metal on the front of it like we've done up there in fact it might look good if i did some of that corrugated metal down here to sort of match what we're doing besides this stuff is just like plain old fun to work with yep I think that looks great. Oh, there's some stuff up here. We probably could work on this side over here a little bit more. Kind of thinking simply just a three by one right there. Not much we can do here because we've got some overlapping block planes, but that that will probably do it. We can do the same thing out here. Oh, that's a, that's a good point though, because out here, if the if the sandbags are flush with the platform, we can do the three by twos. Let's see how that looks. Whoops. Yeah, sometimes it does that, and then you just gotta kind of flip it to the other side, I've learned. Yeah, let's make sure we're, like, varying it up, too, so that it looks better. I don't want it to look too... I don't know, too uniform, I would say. Whoops, break another one. Making up some relays so we can try to hook something up for perimeter power. There it is, morning. And at this point, I'm, I'm ready to more or less call it here. I will do some uh, fancy business around here though. Let me just, I've got eight more of these corrugated metal sheets and I'm gonna get some use out of them by just plastering them on these windows just for added security there. All right, last little bit right there and we're done. Now I was just thinking I need to get more sandbags, right? To the tune of, well, I need eight. So to get the extra cloth, can I just make it out of the plant fibers that I've collected along the way. It looks like I probably can. More darts and forged iron should lead to more blade traps. I think I needed like five more. Uh oh, now we're out of oil. No. Uh, okay, can I do oil? I can do a little bit, not nearly enough. <laughs> Get the ratchet out, we gotta do more cars. Okay, at a minimum though, I should be able to finish up the sandbag project on the rooftop. Okay, I'd say that's 100% up here. We've got plenty of parking for one or two gyrocopters if we ever needed to kind of pull in reinforcements from anywhere. Could probably stand to have a little bit of lighting up here though. All right, just kind of rearranging the pool table here to be more centered. Is that gonna look okay? Looking pretty good. I'm really liking the look of this base. It looks a little rough right now. It just needs some paint. That's it. All right, let me toss up the rest of my decorations that I've found in my travels and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Ooh, I even got 28 plants. I don't even know where I got those. All right, well, there you have it. I just kind of rearranged some of the signs. I've still got a couple left over. The, the walls are not very conducive to decoration in this place, are they? It's all right, whatever's left over, I can just kind of toss in haphazardly down on this level. And I just picked up some like random signs to put out here, like slow and of course, no parking, because this is my parking spot. And then for right here, <laughs> the smile asshole sign. All right, I think we're doing pretty good. Let's head over to the other base now and get to work finalizing all that stuff. Got to do all the upgrades and set down all the new blade traps as well. Okay, here we are. And first things first, let's get the blade traps out of the inventory. Got one, get these all done up. Okay, and then two, three, four, and five, which means we're in the market for another five blade traps. Okay, then it's a learn an elixir in, and we'll start doing as many upgrades as we possibly can down here. Okay, I've done just about as much as I could do in terms of upgrades here. I have, I've now run out of cobblestone and I've run out of concrete mix and I've accidentally used a whole bunch of steel as well. But I'd say that will just about do it for now. Basically, the, the feet of these towers are solid concrete now. The top section is mostly solid steel and concrete as well, and everything down here is looking pretty good. Okay, so plan for the next couple of days is to get the remaining blade traps in, and then that's it. Oh, also one more spotlight, because we had that one that got shot by a cop, probably. Yeah, one last thing I had to do while I was over here is to stack these up with ammo and see how much 
much more I need to craft. And it looks like I'm going to need about uh, 2,000 or so to get everything filled up. And then I don't even think that they'll... I don't think they'll empty a full 1,500 darts each on Horde Night. I mean, it's been doing pretty well with uh, two or 300. All right, well, that pretty much does it for construction over there. All right, 4,000 more cobble should uh, be as much as we'll ever need. Oh, there's three blade traps there, in fact. All right, I also need some more of those corrugated metal sheets. Yeah, something like 10 of those, I think. Yep, yeah, because the idea is up here. Oh, wait, one, wait, one, two, three. Yeah, okay, we're gonna need a, a few more sandbags, I think. Yeah, because we want to do like a kind of a half circle. We can't have like exposed flanks while we're up here, right? So we need to do this. Curved shapes here, and then two in the middle. That's gonna mean we need more cloth. Okay, I'm itching to go out and do a little bit of raiding anyway, so we'll just have to focus on some cloth while we're out. Okay, I was just getting the inventory organized, and I swear, I don't know how I have five blade traps. I must have just been crafting them and, you know, there were a few sitting in different boxes there, but five. I think five is what we needed to finish things off over there. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna do it now and have it over with. And there's a new rule. No more off-roading on the 4x4, because I've already sunk 16 repair kits into this thing. I've had it for like five days. Yeah, it was five, right? Wow. What a, this the sea, a sea of blade traps. I love it. Yep, there's eight connections off of that line there. And that looks like that's uh, a little bit more than 50% of the blade traps there. So we're good on this side. Basically, if a cop goes off and destroys these relays, the whole thing is kaput. These are super important. And if I, if I go much further, what I'll end up doing is uh, digging those down even further into the ground so that they're even safer. All right, no, 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 don't do that to me. That last one is too far away. Crap. Okay, so this one then will have to be daisy chained. It's okay. That one probably is going to get the least use. I, I you can you can get zombies like way down here from up there with the repulsor mod, but more and more as they stack up, they kind of bump into each other as they're flying, and they simply just land in this area, which is why I thought we had to get rid of Oscar's dumpster there and and just you know do the sea of blade traps thing. And so once a zombie is in there, they're going to look for the shortest path to get out, which I think is just gonna be kinda shuttling through here, up the ramp, around the corner, and up to the top. Okay, we're done here, we're ready for paint. And I do believe we're pretty much done here as well. Ready for paint. Okay, so with that, we are done with strength. Let's get out of here. This time though, I'm gonna take my extra 11 points and <laughs> yeah, that, that trip into perception was pretty short lived, wasn't it? Oh well, um, let's just go into agility this time. So that nets me three into gunslinger, two into run and gun, and finally two points into parkour. Oh, that feels good. Okay, I'm ready to go on a bit of a raid, although I don't think we're gonna be able to make it to a trader in time to get a quest, but I think I might try. We do have an airdrop kind of on Bob's side of town, so let's head over to him first. Oh, we did make it with time to spare. All right, let's get a job. We got a job here, fetch and clear at the Taylor Manor. Sure, finally a hacker's candy in case we need to get any more oil or anything. And yep, al always taking the water. I gotta get into the habit of that. We always, always need more water. Okay, where was that airdrop? It's right out here somewhere. Okay, it's just over there. We'll do a little bit of off-roading. Just be very careful. We'll circle back around to the tier three fetch and clear. All right, there it is just up ahead. What do we get here? Crafting skill magazine bundle for not much. We're almost done on the electric stuff, though. What's in this melee mods bundle? Nothing, really. Won't say no to a little snack, though. All right, to the clear. All right, here we are at Taylor Manor. Unfortunately, I clipped a fence on the way here and took off 20% of the 4x4 health. All right, well, let's get in here. Maybe we'll find some repair kits. Wow, okay. Well, I'm just going to feed that in immediately. <laughs> <laughs> to the 4x4. Alright, I'm gonna take my time here the best I can. See if I can find the correct way in. Here we go. Yeah, because we need to get some cloth for sure so we can finish off the sandbag project. Usually these houses are pretty good for that kind of stuff. Oh, here's our satchel already. It's a fetch and clear though, so we gotta proceed with the entire place. Some company here already. You got tea peel and friend and a skill point to spend. I don't know. Let's go lucky looter. Go back into perception. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Oh, hello there. Good morning, Johnny. Oh boy. Man, they come running fast around that corner. Hello? Please don't do that. Make a mess in here. Lots of ways out. All right, and just like that, I think we're heading into the basement and this is, yeah, pretty close to the end, I think. 
Got one zombie over here. How many zombies we got down here? Show yourselves. Hello. Sun Baton's still doing the weird thing. Not bad in there. A little bit of money. Hello there, Claire. Give you a minute to make your way back up here. Don't mind me. Just gonna do some looting. Make myself up a new first aid bandage with the stuff I just found. Appreciate your patience over there. Hey, lucky goggles there. Plus four. That's not too bad. Aha, oh yes. This is the the final place though. Is there anything hiding back here? This looks awful suspicious to me, but no, I don't think so. All right, you know what to do. Okay, well, the, the, the way to do this, okay, I have parkour now, so what I could do is just do this and this and then, oops, I don't know if I have enough parkour though. Ah, here we go, I made it. Yep, come on over here, guys. Oh, they don't wanna properly come over here. Okay, come right over here. There we go, that does it. Is that it? I thought there were like 20 zombies down here, but we've got like one more. Have to come back here someday on an infestation and see how it feels. There you go. Good job, buddy. Okay, well, I'll put my newfound lucky looting goggles on. And previously... Okay, things are a little bit weird here now, but yes. Hidden stash here, I think. There it is. A little bit of ammo and stuff. Main loot first. Not much. Another spear. Okay, I think that just about does it here, and I think the way out is usually off this way. So it definitely seems as though it's, um, we haven't been progressing very well in the trader stage, or, or in like the trader quest stages, because we've been kind of splitting our time between two traders. It's debatable. I don't know if I would do that again, if I had it to do all over. I think I would just kind of focus on one. It just, it's really nice to have two traders that you, you have an advanced trader stage with, but unless you're just focusing on questing all day long, I don't know, I, 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 you know, you're kind of spreading yourself too thin. Although there is always the option to do some freelance missions, and there's this one place over here that I've driven by a few times that I've never set foot in before that I'd really like to try out, and it's this one here, the Eco Trash Recycling Center. What better place to do in the middle of the night than a tier 4 quest location that I've never seen before? What could possibly go wrong? Alright, let's try to figure out a way in here. That looks like it's all buttoned up over there. Oh no, it's not. Okay, this place is actually open over here. I see. Ah! Scared me, man. Oh, I can see a vulture down there. It's kind of an interesting spot for a vulture. A couple of them, in fact. Oh, come on out here, boys. Christopher Blake over here. Whoop. And we got the uh, giant hermit over here. Yeah, who needs turrets? Oh, we got a fire hazard over here. Oh, hello there, Nate. How do you do? Aha, rad. Claire's back. Okay, we want turrets for this because one of them has the rad remover. There we go. Okay, this. There we go. Yeah, there's a little valve right there. Oh, not that valve, though. Hey, oh, oh. Hello, Cole. Ah. Yeah, it's one of these here. Activate, activate. There we go. Ah. Whoop, dogs. Just the one, I think. And then this guy. Ah, whoa, goodness, it snuck up on me. Yeah, it's that, that thing where it's difficult to hear when the zombies are getting zapped, you know? Here, let's get one turret down to kind of finish things off here. There we go. I did put some bandages in the drone and we have the, um, the what's it called? Um, the medic mod in there. I'm also crafting a cargo mod, but you know, the, I've only got the one workbench and it's been grinding on stuff all day. But we'll get the robotic thing all decked out here pretty soon. Oh, this is gonna be a, an interesting place of kind of like squirreling around on all these platforms and conveyor belts and everything else. Okay, we're just wrapping around the conveyor belt now. I don't, yeah, I think we're all clear over here. Now we're just heading into the sort of like the second half of the building. Hello. Yo, oh, geez. Ah. I don't like where I am right now, because if I fall down... Oh, hello there, 762 Gamer. Let's make this a little bit easier on myself. I'm kind of... Maybe there's another zombie somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, right there. I see. Yeah, I do believe. Here they are. Silver Gate, right there. And there were two covert lettuce again. I, I heard a white. There we go. Goodbye. Oh, okay. We're into the... the um the technical administrative part, it looks like, maybe. 
All that means is, ooh, slightly tighter quarters. That was it for the electrician set right there, and we can craft tier five batteries. I'm not sure why you ever would though. Oh, hey, working vending machine over here. Rock busters, sugar butts, nope. I don't think I need that stuff right now. Okay, we've reached the, the, the far border on this. I keep looking at that and it's like, rad, rad? No, not a rad. Oh, the main loot though. Okay, okay. Reload and we'll do turret, turret, and nobody's awake. So let's go stir them all up. Let's just grab that loot pile there because it's probably the most fragile of the loot boxes. And yep. Here we go, doing great. In fact, everyone's dead except for the white boy over here. Dr. Henceforth, goodbye. Okay, yeah, that that was, um, hmm. <laughs> that was that was awesome. I thoroughly enjoy my skills. They're not overpowered at all, no. What I really wanna see someday is a tier six infestation with like a full on intellect build. See how that feels. Ah, lucky 13 lockpicks to get into that, hey. It's a pretty nice iron helmet, but not better than my SWAT helmet. 10 sewing kits. What is it with the sewing kits around here? Okay, I do think we're done here though. Are we done? Is this, is this, so? Oh, I don't know what that is. Like a way out maybe? A way to the rooftop it looks like? Oh, and that's another way out. But there was the button here. Okay, just multiple exits it looks like. Maybe there's some more zombies on the rooftop that you have to kill if it was a mission or something. All right, well let's, speak of mission, Let's go over to Bob and get our quest reward for the last one. Trader Joe's is now open. All right, Bob has just opened. Hello, All right, good morning, morning, Bobby. We'll take the crafting skill magazine bundle and I'll also take an upgraded fire ax, please. And more jobs. Okay, infested stuff and nothing at the bookstore as per the usual. Yeah, I'm good. We'll do some freelance type of stuff. The question is, where do we do some freelance type of stuff? We're not particularly far away from the wasteland. We could find something entertaining to do out there for today because my, my gut's telling me that um, we're just not going to be finding great loot. I think we've kind of outgrown this biome here. So yeah, let's go do a quick exploration mission clear quest or something and oh maybe we'll go see trader hugh out here in the wasteland as well all right here we are made it all the way over to trader hughes there's bound to be some good loot around here somewhere so we'll poke around and see if we can find some in a little bit for now though hey buddy where are your vending machines here they are no eye candy though i did snag no, up one at the last here. trader on hey floor. repair kits we need those for the vehicle and honestly i would love to get some glue and or duct tape from you or even cloth i'll take the cloth as well now it's just the these traders where you haven't built up your trader stage by doing quests for them they're just not really going to have much good, even for Hugh here. He's supposed to be the weapon guy, and he doesn't even really have any weapons here. Right. Oh well. He does usually have a little, some odds and ends around here to salvage through, though. So I'll take a moment and see if I can find anything good. Nope, just a couple of ammo piles, I think. Otherwise, yes, let's get out of here. I'm not here for freebies. I'm here for a tier 4, tier 5 quest here somewhere. There is this, uh, what is this? Some sort of like industrial factory place? We could do that. Aha, uh -huh. and we've got the passing gas right across the street. So once we hit this place, we'll do the looting candy and we'll bust into this place as well and see if we can get the main loot two for one. Uh oh, look out, whoa, buddy. How dare you, take that. All right, well, let's get in here. It's, it looks like it's a pretty secure compound anyway, so we won't have to worry about too many people lurking in. We'll just have to deal with the people who have already lurked in. Okay, what are we looking at here? Front door? Oh, yeah, I can see a rat over there. Could be a feral white by the look of it too. Okay, got just the thing for him. In fact, what I'm gonna do is just make sure that we're ready here. So if I need to fall back, I have a place to hide. Yep, that is definitely a feral white. Let's kind of, oh my goodness, a whole bunch of them. Yeah, open that in case there's more. Bring them all out here at once. Uh oh, got a bear flanking me as well. No, thanks. Ow, man. Okay, so if anything, uh, we might level up a little bit while we're here. Okay, definitely stay topped off though. Wait, where's my drone? Are you going to heal me or are you incapable of that? I'm not sure right now. Also, eat up a little bit. Also, uh, give me that skull crusher, please. Take that. And we press on. That was not a working vending machine back there, unfortunately. I could really go for a couple mega crush about now. Okay, I remember this area here. You have to go, yeah, to the top there. Right. Yes, this is the spot right here where you just, uh, 
hit that, and I think zombies come down from up there, or, or something like that anyway. Whoop. <laughs> oh, off with the legs. Yeah, I can... Oh, there he is right there. I can hear him thrashing around. Snap out of it. Zednator. Here we go. Got another rad here. Sintal. And another one over there. Killer Joe. Dr. Henceforth is back for revenge. Not gonna happen, man. Goodbye. Oh my. This place is gonna be full of rads. Oh, ow. Full of rads here, isn't it? Open this and head outside. Hey, Mo. Dog kennels. There, yep, there's one. All right, what kind of shady business are we dealing with up here? Not much, it looks like. It wants me to go up this way. Oh, right, yes, up and then into like the bowels of this place. That's pretty fun. Yep. Let's drop straight in, I guess. Oh, geez. All the way to the bottom. Yeah. Oh, I, ah, ooh, yes. I'm on fire. Put a first aid kit on immediately. And, oh, I can't douse myself right now. Oh, boy. That was freaking close. Yeah, I was trying to get that loot bag, but I walked into... I walked way too close and got burned. Okay, I got 300 hit points rolling in. Hey, buddy. You want to just hook me up with like a mineral water after that? Okay, I think we're back at ground level. Oh, we got barrels here. That could be fun. Hello, hello. Yep, come right over. Oh, got a rat back there. Whoop! I jumped the gun on that a little bit. All right, bring it. The rest of them are stuck, so there, get that down. Poor placement, but it'll get the job done. There we go. Yeah, I'm looking for a valve. Yep, that's the one right there. What's the deal over here, though? Okay, well, I'm feeling, feeling much better that I have the parkour points. Where was all that happening? Here we are. Whoop, one behind me as well. Okay, open this door and right. Okay, more wide open spaces. I like the looks of this a little bit better. Let's get some turret coverage because I... I think there might be something going on here, maybe. Um, hello? Oh, just the floor breaking out. So yeah, watch that. I will in fact just leave the turrets here for now because if there's a, a fight anywhere, I'll have a place to fall back to. All right, let's push up here and see what's going on. Hello? Yes, here's the fight. So come straight down here if you would. Let's see what we can do here. My plan is definitely working. A whole bunch of soldiers, but they don't stand a chance against the AP drone rounds. Ow! Oh, I got flanked. Okay, I think we've thinned them out enough. Let's get up here. We do have birds. Oh boy, we also have rats. That was better. Mutated. Whoops. Nope. Ammo is a problem right now. Drone, help. Jeez, am I wrong? Do you not have the, the medic thing? I could have... Isn't that what your arms are for? Why are you not patching me with bandages? I feel like I've, I've made a mistake here. Drone medic mod definitely is on the drone. Is it? Is there a different threshold? Have I just not been like low enough on hit points yet? Now, currently, that is a mystery to me. Well, we got the main loot anyway. And yes, we said we're going to do the eye candy, right? Which, oh boy. I've put that into the 4x4, I think. Crap. Okay, so that's interesting. I just kind of climbed up on the scaffolding and I'm immediately right here. So a little bit of a shortcut if you wanted to just come up here and get the loot. Okay, eye candy in. <laughs> Repair kits. That's going to come in handy on the way home. The main loot here has a nice set of steel legs. Awesome. And another vehicle adventures up to 95 on that. Okay, now we now it's time to really run. We are oh my goodness, I was wondering why we were getting a little bit of a lag spike there. Well, shoot, scratch the looting adventure. We have got to do a zombie fighting adventure now. Come on over here, everybody. The turret is doing 95% of the work as usual. All right, a whole bunch more are over there. Oop, they're rolling in here. Come on, guys. Wake up. Turrets are going to be out of ammo soon at this rate. Ooh, I'm out of ammo. Yep, everybody's out of ammo. Oh, yeah, SMG's feeling pretty good, though, isn't it? And Big Mama there just pooped out a loot bag for me. I'll take it. Ooh, nice SWAT helmet. And okay, we still have a little bit of time, like four minutes or so. Ooh, that was, that was awesome. Okay, yeah, here's the rest of them. Another loot bag here, and then we are storming the passing gas. Yep, I know right where to go. 
Just gotta get inside. We're gonna make a real mess in here too, I bet. Oh, there's a rat over there. Okay, can we just go in? Yep, right through here. That'd be fine. Jeez, now we, we've got dogs somewhere as well. Here, just kick things off with a bang. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that the drone is just not functioning. Why don't you heal? Oh, there it goes. It healed me <laughs> right as I'm about to die. Thank you very much. Still zombies rolling in from the left flank. Okay, we can still do this. Just let's, let's reload. We've got two minutes left on the looting candy. Okay, main loot is uh, pretty close by. I think it's just around here. That's a rad over there. Yep, there it is. There it is. That's where I want to be. How do I get there? Everything's different here. Okay, Arlene's just gonna chill out down there, I think. Okay, yes, out here, and no, 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 I don't wanna play by your rules. Let me in here. Yep, here's the main loot. Okay, if y'all could come out here, I'm sure there's somebody in there defending things. Here we go. Oh, they're running right through the defensive fire and I'm out of stamina. Okay, is that it? Oh, good job, guys. Excellent work. Good, we're into the main loot chest for a good set of military gloves. I'll take it. Oh, a chainsaw. That's cool. Also, I can craft an impact driver at level one I just saw. Oh, a nice new pickaxe, too. And some repair kits. Oh, you can't ask for much more than that. Good stuff here. Nice. Okay, grab that stuff. And I think... Arlene, are you back? Where's, where's Arlene? She's around here somewhere. We'll leave her to it. I think there's a hidden stash in one of these towers over here. Oh, there she is. Deanna the banana. Thank you for pooping that out for me. Okay, now I think I think we're, we're pretty much good here. Maybe I'll roll through town and I'll do some magazines. Oh, that happened again. I love that. Yeah, the... the oh, what happened there? Thank you very much, drone. The last time I rolled through here, uh, when we came back from the snow biome out here, I did kind of pass through town and I did a few mailboxes. I didn't really get much though, but I might just do that again on the way home again. Oh, you know, see, <laughs> I've already been here. Maybe if we're lucky, I'll see one more little thing we could loot. Oh, right, because yes, we're in the ostrich hotel area here where we met Jawoodle. Oh, look at this. <laughs> there's there's the savage country right here. That's the super savage country. And this is like the regular savage country right over here, <laughs> directly across the street. I find that kind of hilarious. Whoops, look out. Ooh. I think that was a pretty good dodge myself. All right, well, we could hit one of these savage countries real fast. Which one's the better one? This one, I think is a tier three now, isn't it? Yeah, savage country tier three. I think we could manage this. Let me just get rid of some stuff in the inventory. Yeah, we're, we're getting pretty weighed down though at this point, but we're pulling out some excellent loot here. I'll go through it all tonight when I get back to the base. Oh my God. It, all of a sudden turned into quite a party over here. Cops spitting and everything. Okay, that's done. Yeah, what I really want to do here is set up some defensive positions here. I'm going to run in and stir everybody up and I'll be right back outside to meet you for the, for the big battle. Just go all the way in, wake everybody up if we can. Okay, that was incredibly dangerous. I There's like 15 rads back there. And uh, okay. I'm almost back. I'm completely out of stamina. Yeah, I almost died there. That was bad. Here we go. Prepare for battle. I just leveled up. There's a whole bunch more back there. We got to make a little bit of noise to get them over here. Ooh, rad bikers and everything. Oh my god, they hit hard. Thank you very much, drone. Okay, I think that was it. Let's go loot up couple of stragglers sarah here and i don't know maybe someone on the rooftop all right oh nope this guy right here Nah, you can stay there i feel like death would be a release for you at this point oh nice steel helmet there okay the last little bit of loot that i'm interested in is uh just these ammo racks and weapons racks and stuff like that nothing special in there oh the cloth though that you could pull out of this place it must be really nice i don't think i need cloth quite that much at this point especially not this time of night all right 
we're we got, still got a little bit of time though, and we still got a little bit of inventory space. What do you say we try to do the same thing and hit this savage country here? All right, this time though, I'm definitely gonna take something that'll help on the stamina, and I'll even take a recog. That's gonna dehydrate me a little bit, but that's okay. All right. Let's see if we can stir up a few zombies in here. No, not really. Maybe a couple. Yeah, they're starting to wake up a little bit now. Here we go. Come on outside, ladies and gents. Right over here. Here we go. It's working. Oh, those bikers are still just incredibly strong and dangerous. Okay, I think we're good here. We just got the, the big main room in the back. And a cop, I guess. Oh, I can take these bears home with me. Put those in the base somewhere. Might have to look into crafting some AP 9 mil once I get home. Okay, th th this is where I want to be here, but that's not how I want to go about it. Oh, if I could only just reach through and grab that button. Who said I couldn't? There we go. Okay, not a lot of ammo left for these, so we'll have to try to make every shot count. All right, who's back here? Some rads for sure. All right, that's one, two, three down and four. Beneficial there? Is that it? Pretty tame. Not too bad at all. One more back here. Flounder. And I think we're clear to loot up. I wish I could take those spotlights home with me. That would be nice. Okay, we're into the main loot here. Nice treasure map and a pair of boots. And I've just been kind of picking through the shelves here to get a little bit of extra cloth before we head out. Okay, that should hold us over pretty well in case we need to make any more sandbags or duct tape or anything else that requires cloth. Okay, what a friggin' awesome looting expedition this was. This, I wish I would have uh, started doing this a little bit earlier, but honestly, we haven't had the offensive capability that we've had in the last, like, uh, three or four days or a week or so. Since we basically, we got the, the dual turrets. Now I feel like I can conquer anything. Alright, well, I'm gonna head back to the base, I'm gonna get everything organized, and I'm gonna get ready for painting. And then we will pick things up again after tomorrow morning's broadcast. But thank you very much for listening to this one, and I will catch you, hopefully, in that next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.